Tom Durian's in the storm chaser. Uh, he's listening to all that pinging on his windshield. What else are you experiencing out there? Yeah, Brian, it's actually gotten better uh, throughout the evening. We went through the, the worst of it earlier. We actually decided to pull off the road and be safe, as many people did, because it was it was pretty bad out here earlier. Let's go outside. I'm shooting towards the back of the storm chaser because I want you to see the ice that's on that dish right back there. That is kind of what you're dealing with as you're driving. Now we'll go back down here and look at the roads a little bit, and you can see that there is definitely slush on all the roads here as we make this turn in this roundabout. You can see that kind of glazed ice and slush on the roads. We got a chance to catch up with Racine and Kenosha counties preparing for the storm like the public works departments all over our area. Ice is kind of like Superman's kryptonite for them. Now beginning this afternoon, trucks were constantly pulling in and out of the county yards, taking on loads of salt and filling up their tanks with the brine to pre treat the roads. In some respects, this makes you worry more than snow. Yeah, it doesn't take much ice, uh, just a very thin amount to make any vehicle slide or any person slide. And so we always worry about ice. You can plow snow, you can deal with cold, but once ice comes, ice is a whole different animal. All right, back here live on Highway 20 in Racine. We're going to get on 94 for you and show you those conditions coming up in just a bit here on Live at 10. But I should mention that there are 30 trucks out here for Racine, 20 trucks out for Kenosha counties. These areas experiencing the worst of this uh, slush that's on the roads and freezing rain tonight. Reporting live here in the Storm Chaser, we'll send it back to you in the studio.